Andrea, this video is going to be my curly hair routine. Uh, one thing I wanted to tell you guys, I don't usually do videos like curly hair routine. I don't do them a lot, even though you guys are always asking for a routine. Because I always do curly hair product reviews. You guys see how I apply my products, which relates to my curly hair routine. And I also did how I apply my gels. And I also did a video on perfect curly hair days, tips and everything like that so I always like felt like it was no need to do a curly hair routine but since you guys been asking I just added a little something of how I deep condition my hair a little more detailed in of how I do my hair and my curly hair routine process and everything like that I will have another video showing you guys my curly hair routine throughout a whole week my curly hair routine on the first day and then how I go on my second third fourth and everything like that so that will be coming up this video will just be on my curly hair routine, just the first day, my wash and go, whatever you want to call it, just that day. It'll be the last video to see my hair all dark, so take a good look because I want to change, I want something new to my hair. And yeah, I do need a haircut, so all my layers are like really long right now, so we'll see on my next video after this one, I promise. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and stay tuned. Alright, so my hair is like fourth, fifth day hair one of them third or fourth probably and it's not wavy it's not curly I don't know what this is you know you lay on it so first things first I am gonna be separating my hair I probably go half of an inch spacing in between separating your hair it makes your hair way more manageable way less tangles to deal with it's like your fingers are like your hair's best friend <laughs> okay so yeah this is what I do before I do any type of wetting my hair you know when you start scratching your scalp and it feels so good and you just you know you forget you're recording that's what happened over here but anywho I'm gonna be using my organic extra virgin coconut oil USDA approved which basically means 95% of the ingredients used are organic so this is what it is the solid form I'm just gonna dip my hair with some warm water and then I'm just gonna apply it focusing on my ends and my crown because they are the driest part of my hair my hair is extremely dry but my ends are like another world of dryness so yeah those are the sections that I focus most and I'm gonna be applying coconut oil all over my hair not really saturating it but just making sure I got it in the most parts because I'm gonna be putting it up in a bun to just sit there for about uh, 45 minutes to an hour I usually say an hour but I leave it 45 minutes so 45 minutes later I am gonna take it out and just making sure I'm ready for rinsing my hair that is when the question comes up what if you rinse your hair out taking out the coconut oil would it make a difference yes it will still make a huge difference and it will still make your hair moisturized so these are my shampoos of choice the first one and the last one the first one is my favorite high end the last one is my favorite drugstore so those are my favorites and I'm just gonna be washing my roots I'm just scrubbing that out whatever runs down on my strands that's how I wash my strands you do not have to keep getting your hair and just wash it like you're washing a piece of fabric no you don't have to do that just make sure you focus on your roots because they are the part that needs to be washed out and make sure you're using a very gentle shampoo all right but yeah this is really it I just do it twice I always done it it's probably a habit washing my hair twice what I don't get in the beginning my first one I'll get it at this in the second time I guess but yeah I usually do it twice after shampooing I rinse my hair out and I condition my hair and get it ready for detangling it and this is my favorite one suave naturals the family size one I need it I'm gonna use my demon brush starting from the bottom going up and after it's all detangled I just divide it into and detangle it I just apply right on top my macadamia natural oil repair mask I love this thing so much that's why it's almost done it smells really fresh and I'm just putting my hair in a bun and 10 minutes after my shower I just rinse my hair out with cool water as cool as you can get it doesn't have to be extra extra cold so my hair is all rinsed down no product I'm gonna use my curly tea towel to take all the water out of my hair I do not use a towel ever on my hair like a towel that you, the same towel you use for your body I use something like a t-shirt material cotton shirts just to take all the water out without making my hair frizzy and I keep changing the spots so I can get the dry spots on the 
towel, my curly tea towel, and I'm gonna be using my Curly Hansen Smoothie by Shea Moisture as a moisturizer. Dividing my hair in two and applying it all over my hair, focusing on the ends. By the way, I am looking for a new moisturizer because this one, I've been using this one for a while, and I'm looking for a new one. And another product that I've been loving is my Mixed Chicks, which a review will come soon, but it doesn't really go really well with this moisturizer. So I'm gonna use my gel of choice at the moment, which is Aunt Jackie's Don't Shrink Flaxseed Elongating Curling Gel. I've been loving this as well. Um, the same way I showed you guys in my tutorial how I apply gels or Perfect curly hair days. This is how I apply it and by the way me detangling my hair in the shower with my demon brush The last time I detangled my hair from then on it's just my fingers as you can see while I'm applying I'm basically detangling as well I'm just making sure the product gets on every single strand so I will not get no frizzy hairs or you know dry hair Hair that looks like it got no product on you know so if I do use a lot of sections like this one, I'm just making sure it's the same amount of hair going all the way across and as you can see it's like flat around and I scrunch. By scrunching it makes sure your curl pattern definition just gets way more defined. That's really it. Again, repetition from my curly product reviews. And by the way, for my bangs, I put the product in the same direction that my bangs are going for. I do not just go on, I just don't go the other direction. I just go on the direction that I'm parting my hair at. I just think this is vital, especially if you want your hair to dry like this. And then it can go whatever direction you want. But in the beginning, when I'm styling, that's how I want it to stay, that side. So that's how I apply the product as well. So I am done. This is how it looks like with all the products applied. Yes, I am going to be drying it. Sometimes I diffuse it, sometimes I just blow air on it, negative ion to separate the particles and I'm going to use cool and high setting for speed. And yeah. I'm just making sure my hair is as dry as I can get it and I usually just dry my hair for 10 minutes and it gets it probably 90 to 95 percent dry and I will not get out of my house with my hair really wet because I just don't like that it's just I don't like wet hair <laughs> but yeah after I dry my hair I use 100 percent argan oil by the way it's still 95 percent dry and that's how I apply it really gentle not damaging my curls if I am about to touch my curls really a lot it'll be just in a scrunching motion I do not want to separate them and you know damage them before they completely dry you know and that's when you shouldn't be touching your hair so everything's all set now I am done and my hair is just gonna dry just air dry naturally later on right so this is my hair all dried up and I have to go <laughs> have to go out and that's it thank you for watching bye Mwah.